alpha proteobacteria. And today we'll be looking at the order Rickettsiales and family Rickettsiaceae or Lixiaceae and this kind of this bacteria. Rickettsia, Elichia and Wolbachia. Here also under alpha proteobacteria, under hypomicrobialis, Brucella C and Brucella. So Brucella first. Small coccoid gram negative shorts also cultured in capnid conditions. Brucella abortus militensis is a type species and Swiss. These are mostly uh, zoonotic uh, disease. Uh, mostly animals are will have the disease but sometimes cross infection to humans. Okay. So it invades through the intestinal or respiratory tract skin. Okay. So once the bacteria enters, it is able to survive uh, phagocytosis. Okay. It is able to survive phagocytosis. That's why it ends up in your lymph nodes. And from there, through the lymphatic system, it can start going to other organs. So there, it will start. And from these other organs, if we, this become inflammatory foci, which means the focus of the bacteria. There, they start growing. And once in a while, they are released into the bloodstream. That's why you have uh, feverish periods. Uh, which means undulating fever. Sometimes you have fever, sometimes you don't. Okay, undulating fever. So diagnosis, you have to is isolate the bacteria from blood and incubate for up to four weeks. So you have blood culture. So after that, you have to carry out serology once they grow. You have therapy with antibiotics. So that's for Brucella. Next is Rickettsia CA. Rickettsia CA and Ehrlichia CA. You'll see that there are patterns. All of them are arthropod, use arthropod vectors, which means either mites, lice, or fleas. They require arthropod vectors. Okay, so that is very specific for this uh, bacteria. So they are small gram negative, coccoid or rod shaped. So named after Howard Ricketts, who also died from typhus fever. So he died from also this bacteria. So con causative agent for typhus fever and also Rocky Mountain spotted fever. So we have different species. They do not survive outside hosts. So it has to be transmitted animal to animal. Okay. And also it is an obligate intracellular parasite. Okay. It has to uh, it doesn't because it doesn't have a lot of the metabolic cycles that other bacteria has. It has become so simple. It has lost a lot of its genes. That's why it must infect a cell. Okay? It survives intracellular. That's why you cannot culture on artificial media. It doesn't grow. Okay? The media, in the past, they use a uh, Hand embryo yolk sets, which means the egg, fertilized egg, they inject the bacteria into it. Only then it will grow. Same like viruses, because they have been so, they have, uh, they are so simplified now that they require cells to grow. Okay, so arthropods are the vector, so they will excrete the microbes either with their species. Or they will transmit them with the saliva when they uh, suck, puncture your skin and suck your blood. 
Yeah, so you can see that they do not have many genes for independent energy metabolism. They are already they have already evolved for intracellular dependency. Rickettsia reproduce in vascular endothelial cells, and when they die, they release the organisms into the bloodstream. So you see there are two groups here. One is typhus group. So typhus, you can see the, the vector is lice and fleas. Okay. Most of the symptoms are high fever and rashes, red rashes. Vitality as high as 20% if untreated. So the epidemic typhus caused a lot of problems during World War I. So the next group is the spotted fever group. This one is milder. You still get similar symptoms, feverish and rashes, okay? but milder. So this one, uh, ticks and rodents. So this one, sometimes if you go hiking and there are mites that bite your leg, can bite and transmit the bacteria to you. Alicia positive agent for alichiosis. You see that it also able to over overcome the immune system by growing in the monocytes. So once it grows, it multiplies and then it destroys the cell by and releases itself. So again, the vectors, lots of it ticks. Severe mononucleosis like multi system disease. So you have uh, headaches, fevers, and all that. So, what's important about Rickettsia CA and Alicia CA are most of the bacteria require an arthropod vector. First, uh, identified in 1924, the type species is Wolbachia pipientis, gram negative intracellular bacteria that also infects arthropod species. Okay? But they do not cause problems to humans. Okay? But it is uh, evolved into mutualistic relationship with arthropods. So they infect insects. So, what is interesting is uh, they found out that although Aedes aegypti, the mosquito doesn't have Wolbachia in the environment, in the natural environment, it doesn't have Wolbachia. But they discovered that if they inoculate Wolbachia into the mosquito, the viruses that cause dengue, chikungunya, and Zika, they don't survive. So when the Mosquitoes have Wolbachia, the viruses don't survive. And they also found out that in the lab, if you cross, so the ones that are greenish have the bacteria, they found out that due to cytoplasmic incompatibility, by inoculating the environment with a few of these mosquitoes, over generations, most of the mosquitoes will have the bacteria naturally. Okay. Okay. So it is safe for humans. This is very important. It is safe for humans and considered the risk rating of negligible. So there's no problem of uh, no risk to humans if you use Wolbachia to immunize the mosquitoes against dengue.